CD, you've got main RCD, and then you've got RCBOs, then you've got an RCD, then you've got RCBOs and the main switch. What? I've never seen that before. But look, there's no main earth, mate. No earthing, because look, here's the main, here's your armoured. I dealt with the spark here again. I've just been called out um, to a job. I think this, the sockets keep tripping the RC, RCD. And um, I think she said she had another a spark, it came out and um, said it needs rewiring or something. But from what she said, he didn't do any checks with instruments or anything. I think he just had a look. So um, I'm gonna go and have a look and see, see what I can do. Uh, hopefully you I can film it and let you see. See you later. Um, so the downstairs sockets switch yeah. downstairs keeps tripping. So it's just the sockets, not the lights? No. Okay. Um, and it was happening kind of, you know, several times a day. Yeah. This started about three weeks ago. Yeah. Um, and I'd go downstairs, lift it back up, everything would be fine. Ten minutes, half an hour, it would do it again. Intermittent. Yeah. Intermittent. And then maybe about a week ago, yeah, ten days ago, it was it just wouldn't stay up. Okay. Um, so we're powered from upstairs at the moment. Okay, all right. And so and we kept it down, so nothing. Yeah. Oh, you know when it. Okay, and so now it's all, it's down and everything works apart from the kitchen sockets. and yeah. front room. Mm -hmm. Anything yeah. downstairs. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. I'm just going to go down and have a quick look at this. Oh, the kind of came initially as an emergency. Yeah. Because the RB, uh, whatever they're called. RCD. Yeah, so he said that the RCD, that would help to isolate where... Oh, okay, the so... Is, but that didn't rectify it. In fact, that's when it got So, so it's this... Yeah. Hold on, what, what, okay, oh, just, that, um, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me, um, all right, no worries, I'll have a look at that and, um, we'll, we'll, we'll take it from there, yeah? Now, I don't get this, you've got a main RCBO here, yeah, RCD, you've got main RCD, and then you've got RCBOs. Then you got an RCD, then you got RCBOs and the main switch. What? I've never seen that before. You either have a main switch and all RCBOs, or two RCDs and MCBs. So the guys took out an RCBO and put an MCB in, and it's still a problem. I don't get this one, mate. I can't judge because I've never seen it, so I don't know if it's wrong or right. To me, it's wrong. The client just told me that the electrician who came along to fix the fault, he took out all the MCBs and put in RCBOs. So I don't know why I don't know why he did that, but um, I don't know. Now I've just done end to end on it. I got 0 0.62, 0 0.62 for the for the phase and the neutral. But look what I'm getting for the earth: 67.3. <laughs> so there's definitely a problem earthwise. So um I'll just do installation resistance now and see. Mm. But with a dodgy earth, how's that gonna work out? Don't know. Well we'll find it. There's a neutral to earth, that's what I'm getting. Installation resistance. <laughs> zero point zero mega ohms. Okay, well, let's see what I can find. Right, after um disconnecting various points and checking them various points and checking them right i've got that socket there working one leg's working that one works but nothing else so that's one leg that i've reconnected two sockets are working now the other leg showing me a dead short um, I've checked continuity and I'm getting, look, 18 ohms here. Yeah. And I'm getting 18 ohms when I connect it here. All right. So there's my one, the lead. It's going down to the, other, to the fuse board on the other leg. So if I'm getting continuity here, I'm getting continuity over here, getting continuity here. 
and continuity over there, that means there's a joint somewhere. <laughs> and where that joint is, I don't know, and that side of the ring is faulty. So it looks like the, the front room and the kitchen are all on one ring and only two sockets I can get. I've got a fault on these two cables. Got a fault on these two cables. Um, that one makes out fine. Uh, this one makes out fine. You notice you've got three sets of everywhere. That one makes out fine. This one makes out fine. So. There's a fault on most of the cables. <laughs> uh, um, we've got a cable coming from underneath the sink to one of these sockets here. It's got a fault on the earth, um, face to earth, fa um, and earth to la uh, face to earth and neutral to earth. There's a fault on it. Then there's one going from here over to that socket there mm -hmm. and that's got a um, face to earth fault on it mm -hmm. um, there's a oh yeah there's one coming from underneath to think sink to here there's a face to earth fault on it so you've got several faults on the circuits the only and then you've got unfortunately that one of the cables coming from the fuse board it comes to this area and um, these two are joined to it, but where they've joined it, I don't know. And it's got a fault on it. The only two good sockets that I can leave working are two in the front room. One behind the TV and one behind the sofa. Okay. I can leave them working. Okay. This lot, I'm sorry, but it, the only thing I can think is to rewire. It's no point. I've done, I've exhausted all the testing I can do and I'm finding faults everywhere. So look, there's a, sweet, a spur here for the fan, but that's how it was left, like that. Not even screwed back to the wall. Look at that. Oh my goodness. The client didn't even know that it was there. How long you lived there? 14 plus years. Oh yeah, when, when was the kitchen done? Oh, um, 12 years ago. Oh right, you'd never, you didn't know you had a switch there? No. <laughs> and it's not even connected, so... Has that been like that for 12 years, do you reckon? Must yeah, have been. Very likely. <laughs> a fuse board I, I haven't seen before. But uh, this guy, I give, I give him credit because I would never have thought of this. Because he's disconnected the, RC, the RCDs. So I suppose they just act as switches now. But look at that big, big bit of copper, how he's joined the, the two. I mean... <laughs> I always joint the two neutral bar to make it one solid neutral bar. Oh my so days. This is going to it's a like bit rough. Electrical shock horror kind of. Well, that one down there and the one behind here, mm -hmm. that, those will be working. You can use they will them. Be yeah, they'll be working oh, so you can use okay. them. But the rest of the. So now, what I can do is to get this side working. Because you've got all flooring down and everything, mm. I don't know, I don't know if you want your walls chased or just do it in trunking, round here, mm. round here, to get, is it, was there one behind it? No, no, there wasn't one behind there. You had one behind there. Mm -hmm. To get, and then, see, I could link this side up together. Mm. Okay. Right? But I'd, have to use trunking which is... or chase your wall which is you see this see this stuff but oh, yes. but smaller okay so it's so okay. it's less intrusive yeah okay. this stuff here but it's smaller so that's trunking yeah the other option is... chasing the wall along but it's going to be hard because you've got radiator there oh ah well Unfortunately, I couldn't get the power on for that lady because those two sockets that I powered up, when I done a um, loop test on it, I got 
36 or 36.5 ohm. So that's um, obviously you can't have that. So I had to turn that off and tell them you can't use that. So the whole ground floor has got to be rewired now. So, um, yeah, I just, get, I just kept getting earth to neutral faults, earth to, to phase faults all over the place. And um, obviously at those two points, the, the earth connection is really bad. Um, so, there you go. Uh, I'm going to have to be back here. Well, I have to give them a price first for doing the work and then come back. Because I'd done a, a job a few doors away um, for her cousin and her cousin recommended me <laughs> highly apparently but I wonder if it's the same electrician <laughs> who wired that house because there was a load of faults in that house there uh, I had to go through the whole place finding faults fitting a new fuse board everything so I wonder if it's the same geezer that wired that house wired this one as well wired this extension and ground floor Oh, my days, you come across some things. Anyway, um, hope you picked up something. Hopefully I can film when I come back and um, you can see that. See you again. Thanks for watching. The Adele Spark again. Um, I've just arrived at that job that I'd done the other day where the sockets was faulty and the fuse board got butchered. Well, I've come back to do some rewiring. So um, I'm going to go in there and hopefully film it and let you see what I do. Thanks, see you later. We've got a leg there, comes across here, goes across there, into there. And we'll pull the cable up to there. Hopefully I'll get some clips on that joist there, but can't get over there to do any clipping, but it's not necessary really. And then while we've gone from that one, over to another one going up right in the far wall then and then that cable coming out and going to the um going to the left is a cable it's coming from a socket up there was a fault and then we've just discovered this if you can see over there got a cable in there um so it's one behind the tv uh we've got a set of cables there and then we have to, um, I've tried to drill a hole down there to get some cables up to that one. And uh, we'll leave that for today and uh, come back tomorrow. Hi there, um, as you can see, we're getting on with that rewiring those sockets, the state of it. Terrible wiring. Um, trying to do our best not to cause any damage. You can see they've got the flooring down, they decorated everything, so. Um, when I'd done the job for up the road for this lady's cousin, um, she had marble tiles and all that sort of stuff, and I didn't do any damage at all. That's why she recommended me. <laughs> she um, she was happy with what I'd done, um, you know, uh, they, because I didn't cause any damage. That's why, and obviously, some of the tiles in the kitchen has got to come off, so we will chop them off tomorrow. Okay, see you later. Here I am, folks, under the floorboards here, trying to get these cables in. The youngsters like you should be doing all this, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my days. I can't believe this. Let's hope I can get out a deal. <laughs> that was over there. In the ring, just like that. <laughs> it's got to be cut. That's our new ring going on in there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clip them up a little, not much, because I just like to see the cables in order. That's connected. That fluorescent fitting. Yeah, yeah, I see. It. I didn't see that. I just spotted it. I just look, saw that a little. look, look at that. Yeah, I got a shot from touching the tube though. Yeah. Yeah, my back. <laughs> look, they've just look the cables. <laughs> you know, they've just put the cables in like that. Look. Just that there. That's a joke. <laughs> look, look, look at the hole in the side of the feet. Well, the cables that I've installed, I've tried to clip them the best I could. You can't get right over into that corner there. It's just not enough room. I'm on my back, basically. So I've clipped them. Right. 
cables that I've installed. See them ones going up there? This isn't ours, that was there already. <laughs> We've got to run a cable up here, around here into the TV. There's a big TV here on the wall. There's a, a double socket here. Um, they nailed the box, nailed the box to the wall. But anyway, that's all good. That, that was the cable there coming in the side. So now our only way we can do it is up and around and chisel down here, get it into there. And there's a socket there. Ideal, got all that trunk in, put all that trunk in back and got our cable in. Great job, mate. Done all this chasing for us. There's one there behind the door. And ideal connect in there. Hopefully we can get this this ring on because what they had they had this area here the front room this area and the kitchen all on one ring those we haven't worked on that side so what I've separated it now and we've put um, these two here and the living room on one ring and then somehow we're gonna have to get these sockets here on one ring okay so um, I'll let you know the progress as we go along I don't believe this listen when I came and I done the test on the sockets yeah all the cables were faulty because I disconnected the old wing leg to leg all earth problems yeah? yeah the two that I thought I got working front room and the other room I thought they were fine so I put a I put a loop test on it and I got 38 by something. So let's go upstairs. If you look at that, I've just, what does that say? I ain't got the glasses on. 37.7 ohms. Right, 37.7 ohms, right? Yeah. Okay. Why do you reckon it's so high? Come on. Uh, deal. Look at this, mate. Look at this. <laughs> look at this. Look. Yeah. There's no main earth. There's no main earth. This one goes to, one of them comes round to there, yeah? yeah. Look, to the gas pipe. One of them, right? I don't know where, this, this, I'm thinking this one here that goes over there. I reckon, I'm thinking there's a pipe, water pipe buried there, um, sort of on the wall that rubble. Yeah. And they've, I haven't had a good look yet, but I can only think that's why it's there. And then, He's attached this 2.5 here and attached to, to a, that's a six mil or something there, yeah? And that goes way off into the kitchen. But look, there's no main earth, mate. No earthing, because look, here's the main, here's your armoured coming into that head, yeah? There's the armoured there coming into that head. And there's no earth connected to the, sheath of this cable into an earth block into this <laughs> it's incredible would that be the earth what do you reckon you reckon if you got if i clamped onto that i'll get earth continuity so i wonder you know i'm just gonna try it just gonna try it. i've never seen it like this before so you never know all right a deal let's see if that connection has done the trick Moment of truth. What was it? 37.8, wasn't it? Or 38.7? Yeah. Let's see what it is now. Okay. So here we go. Set it on that. Here we go. The moment of truth. Yep. 0 0.85. That's good. That is a. <laughs> that is the earth. <laughs> Oh my days. So how many years these people, 40 years she said she's, she's lived here because she was born here. But anyway, it's done now. They have connected it. It's just temporary. 16 mil and now we've got the earth. <laughs> Boy. Anyway, um, I'm just gonna coil that up, get it out of the way because it, um, we, I think we'll be fitting a new board depending on what the customer wants. Um, so all, everything's just rough at the minute. These are our two cables and this is the earth. It's just up there temporarily. 